Benefactor of a malicious compliance got me a first class upgrade. Yes I know people have legitimate allergies. Don't nitpick this story. The omen may have had allergies. But they only popped up when it was convenient. This was in 2000. I was traveling with my service dog and my family. We had seats in the back of the plane. At the check-in, entitled business class ticket holder Karen spotted my service dog, went up to the desk, and demanded we be bumped off the flight because she was highly allergic to dogs. She began wheezing, sneezing and gasping on cue. Side note, we had been sitting within two feet of her for over an hour. My dog was under my chair, as he was trained to do. She spotted him when he came out to get water. The CSR stated he would be happy to bump her to a later flight. Karen pitched a fit, forgetting she needed to cough, wheeze and sneeze. Karen requested a supervisor. Supervisor came, listened to her, and stated that if she wanted to stay on this flight, they would do everything in fear power to move the seating so that my dog was as far away from her and her family as possible. She agreed. She and her family got moved to the back row. My family got put in the empty first class, where my dog got his own seat. Yes, they covered the seat with a blanket and I put my coat on it as well to keep fur off. Ferengi rule of acquisition hash 60, keep your lies consistent. Classic, short but sweet. Well, what a good boy. This has to be the most wholesome MC I've ever read. Gross. R. Dog free. Dog tax. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.